There we go. We are live. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, good afternoon, everybody. God, I have to keep remembering to look at the camera, not at, look at the middle of the screen. Um, huh. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Back again with one of our great speakers for um, the Northwest VA conference in June. Hi to Mark Wiseman. Um, I've seen something this morning that they, with this new flipping Indian variant, they are doing a review of what they're going to be doing with the next lot of um, lockdown restriction removals. So fingers crossed we're still on for for the end of June. Um, I can't see them doing anything drastic that's going to make a massive big difference to us. Um, but we're going to crack on as usual because we can't do anything else. I think they're talking um, about regional regional lockdowns, aren't they? Yeah. In June, but yeah. And hopefully it won't affect okay. Warrington, hopefully, with any luck. Um, and hopefully not because it's flipping Naomi's wedding <laughs> two days before or day after <laughs> the oh, conference. God, we can't have a cancelled conference and a cancelled wedding. Um, so um, for those of you that have been, that came in 2019 and also came on the online session and the online conference we did last year, you'll know Mark already. Um, in, the, in the 2019 conference, we had to extend Mark's session. We had to go over lunchtime. We had to say, go and get your dinner, come back and eat it while Mark continues to talk because there was just, there were so many questions, weren't there? And around <laughs> three, six, five, which... Um, I'm just getting more and more involved with 365 and it's just like a progression of ends up being on my day part of my to-do list is add a little bit to SharePoint do a little bit with this so um, yeah we had a we had a really big extended session and then last year obviously um, you talked loads to us as well about the the further things that we can do with 365 and how that's developing so um, I suppose really it, as I've done with other client other speakers um, over the last two weeks, they've talked about what they have experienced in the last 12 months, um, how it's affected their business, what changes they've had. So it's probably worthwhile for you, Mark, because you've had uh, ch big changes as well. Uh, Sarah talked about um, two weeks ago about her opening up a gallery in the last 12 months. Kate last week spoke about her setting up her sip and share gin and rum business during lockdown in the last 12 months. And you have also got changes that have yeah. happened in the last 12 months. So I'll hand over to you for the moment. Right. Thanks very much. Uh, interesting, isn't it? Nobody's had any, you know, we've just kept on doing the same thing. Everybody's had some big news. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the interesting it's big news for us, I suppose, we were continuing to grow and, and you know, you'd, you know, you'd never be would be grateful for a pandemic um but of course it meant lots of people were forced in some ways to to kind of adopt technology and, and start to use technology even those that have not used it before or those that might have been skeptical beforehand um but everybody started to use it and so for us it was it was a really busy time um we were we, and it was it was not a lot of new stuff but it was helping people to i think a lot of businesses fudged it they kind of were, well just let's just get it working and I think as time went on, they realized, actually, we need to do this a bit better. We need a proper solution in place. And so we were able to help a lot of people. So we were we were really busy and, and we were grateful for that. Um, but what I guess the big news for us was, um, it, was it was only a few months ago now, but we, we um, or I was approached by Roy Shelton, who, who runs a business called Connectus. Um, and to cut a long story short, um, we agreed that we were they were going to acquire us and we would merge the two businesses. Now the reason it was it, it, that kind of completed at the end of March, so kind of start of April, we were we were one business and we're we're, um, we're working through all of the system integrations now and bringing everything together and centralising all the processes, which is you know always everybody's favourite part of the job. But it's um, um, it's meant for both businesses, and I think this is where it often works and works well for us. It means that we we now have got access to gigabit fiber connectivity, so we can help businesses get you know proper big data connectivity into their business. Um, often, because of the government grants, if particularly if it's in a rural location, so on the edge of cities and towns, or or, or more rural, they can get vouchers, so actually can get it all paid for, the connectivity all installed and paid for. It's up to three and a half thousand pounds worth of vouchers. And that includes getting a, a proper commercial Wi-Fi setup done. So, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, and this is maybe worth people noting, maybe for themselves, maybe for their clients. 
Um, but yeah, you can get gigabit connectivity. So gigabit, just to be clear, is it's you typically if you've got you know if you've got normal um, broadband at home, you might get eight meg of broadband. If you've got fiber that comes into your house that comes up to the exchange, you might get forty or eighty meg. Gigabit connectivity is a thousand meg broadband, so it's wow. it's, it's a game changer. Um, but it often take it costs money to get it installed up to the up to your house because it, it needs a work doing. But that cost can be covered then by the grant. So really exciting. It kind of means we can get potentially get you know gigabit connectivity, so ultra fast connectivity and, and a proper Wi-Fi installation with the cost covered, which is really exciting. Um, but they've got a, a full cyber security suite. So everything. So we could you can have um, cyber essentials, cyber essentials plus full data audit, virtual monitoring, that a whole kind of cyber security suite. And of course, now we've got they've got all the cloud technology that we bring and all the cloud knowledge and expertise around 365. So as a as a as a business now at Connectus, we can do everything that connect, we kind of talk about connect, protect, and collaborate. So it kind of get your business connected, get the best connectivity. Make sure that you're safe, and then make sure you've got the best, most efficient productivity tools. So for for us, it's given us a much bigger team, um, more scale, and and for them, it means they've got a full full IT suite now with all the cloud technology. So hopefully, it means you know they they'll win, we'll win, and, and customers more importantly will will get a much better service from a single supplier. Oh, so that's awesome. all. That's all kind of. Uh, that's all happened as of the start of April, and we're we're kind of still, you know, you know the way these things go. I'm still doing a bit of the old job, we're doing the new job, and we're also running the integration project, which we hope to have finished over the next uh, couple of weeks. So that's that's uh, that's my wow. news. Big changes then. <laughs> yeah. And you took obviously you took because last year, as you know, in the on the online conference, we had a lot of Dean Love last year, and we did have a lot of Dean Love. Yeah, People, somebody, somebody was asking if he was married. I think they were. I wanted to take it further or not? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I think, I think because um, obviously a lot of, um, and we might have mentioned this last year, but a lot of people that have set up as a VA business, and especially in the last year, have probably come from a corporate or they've come from a big organisation. Yeah. So having that IT support in the background is absolutely crucial for when we're trying to do our jobs. Now we're all um, virtual and remote as predominantly we were before covid but more and even more so now if any of us were in other um in other um organizations then you know we we would have had we would have had some kind of it support so having you guys in the background and i know that over the last couple of years there was a lot that you know said i think i need that and and you talked about moving over. I mean, you moved over my website onto your hosting. You took over my Microsoft license. Uh, you've set up new email addresses for me. And you've been there to for me just to say, oh, I don't know how to do this. Something's gone yeah. wrong. Yeah. Or I've got a client and something's going wrong. And we had the whole, um, was it the GoDaddy websites and things like that that say, well, you get a Microsoft license and actually you don't get really what you think you're paying for. No, exactly. So all of those things really, I think, were were what was so crucial to us. So, so you're still in a position that for little tiny businesses, like a lot of VAs will be, to give that same level of support and that you know the same kind of costings that you would have done previously. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. And I think so. Yeah. For us, it's essentially is, is how do we we carry on doing what we are doing? You know, I guess the first part of what we're doing now is for our customers who essentially things will carry on. Um, but is there a potential? You know, is there if there's anybody that's got some cyber security needs, we've got more tools for them to, to be able to mm -hmm. use. If anybody wants connectivity, I mean, you know, the, the grants available. We can also just help people with have better connectivity. Right. So we, I see it as like a pyramid. You know, at the bottom is get the connectivity right. So make sure you got the right, you know, data speeds. It might broadband coming into your house or your office or whatever it is. Then you need to make sure that whatever you've got is in the right places in your office. So there's no point having great, super fast broadband, but it doesn't quite reach where you're working from. Yeah. So so you've got to make sure your Wi-Fi is good enough. Yeah. And again, it's a bit of a funny one. And it's a, you know, I don't want to bore people to death and I'll try not to, but in a 30-second in a summary, what happens is 
people, and this has happened all the time, people take a consumer broadband line um, and they'll go, right, it's a 40 meg fiber line, so that would be brilliant. Of course, that, you know, that's all I need, that's fine. But what, and what they don't, and, and so what they then go is try to use that for their business. Now, the problem is that you don't really get 40 meg, it's 40 meg, but you share that with the people in, who live in the same area or have got offices in the same area. Um, you've then got a consumer router which sits in the corner and spread and spread your Wi-Fi out. But again, in reality, that's probably a £15 box mm. that's then trying to spread your broadband connection all over your office, whatever that office is. Um, and it's often just not good enough because, you know, the kids come home from school or, you know, Xboxes and Playstations fire up and your broadband slows down and then your Wi-Fi is taken up by, you know, people in the, in my house, I've got, well, we've got four kids, as you know, Joan, and I think there's, and I look at my little Wi-Fi thing, I've got 27 devices connected onto my Wi-Fi, so wow. um, it soon gets hoovered up. Anyway, so it is it is really interesting that whether it's in the office or in an office or in a home office or at home, it's definitely, it's, it's about getting the right broadband into the house and then getting your Wi-Fi solution sorted, so it actually works where you need it to work and that way you can work from home or your office is, is fitted out properly. Um, so it is, it is really important, but it's, it is about going, right, well, for our customers, we've never been, the uCloud customers, we've never been able to offer them those kind of things. So let's see if we can make those available at, at, you know, at a price that works for everybody. And then for the connectors customers, um, I think we were able to offer them a lot of cloud services, um, cloud backup, that kind of thing that's, that maybe they've not had access to before or not had the expertise of how to get the best out of SharePoint, et cetera. Mm -hmm. et cetera. So we can, you know, we can go and talk to the, the connectors customers about that. So we hope that both both sets of customers will get the best of both worlds. Um, and of course, if we, you know, if if anybody would like some help or advice, just let me know. And and often I think, particularly with, with VAs, I mean, I talk to, to, to the VA community that I talk to it's often as it's as much about you solving problems for your clients so you know I think it's really important it's important for me but you know what what, what the, the the VAs that, that I work with and know they talk they say exactly the same it's about making yourself indispensable to your clients yeah how can you if you can help them solve problems take an issue away take a problem away IT can often be a headache and if you've got GoDaddy's doing something for you and another IT provider is doing something else, and then you bought your PCs from Curry's and they don't want to know about it. It's a bit of a headache. So you can just put all that together into one provider. It often, I use the phrase one throat to choke, but it's not a very positive phrase, that is it? No, it's one, not. <laughs> one, trusted, one trusted supplier is probably a better way to put yeah. it. I think all under one roof. I think that's a better one, definitely. Yeah, I should start I using think, one, yeah. Definitely. And, and all of that stuff about connectivity and whatever. But what I found, and, and as you know, um, I needed to get a new uh, laptop. Hmm. So I wasn't sure what kind of size, what is the difference with all of the gigabytes and all that kind of jazz. And that's just not my thing. Yeah. But when we had a discussion about what I was actually going to use it for, because that's what I found really helpful, yeah. that I knew I was going to have an Outlook app on the laptop and what was going to be the best way for me to be able to have, uh, I don't know, 12 email addresses I've got within there maybe and, and thinking, I know, but do you know what? It works dead smoothly. And I was actually talking to someone from an IT company yesterday and um, for, for a client, a different IT company for a different client. And they said, um, when you've got the Outlook app with Microsoft 365, you sign into one, account but then when you've got another 365 account you sign out of that one and you sign back in and I thought stuff that I've not got time to be logging in and out of flipping eight different clients yeah. so I said I've got I just go in and just add a new I've done it again this morning with a new one and I've just added it in and he said oh I don't think you can do that I said well I think you can because I've been doing it for about two years uh, since I've been running the business, I've always had it on one yeah. on one yeah. thing. So I said, oh, I'll, I'll have to go and and have a look at that. And I thought, oh, God, seriously. Um, but just that little advice about what actually, what device do I actually need to use, and what is going to be the best one for me to have everything? Because I am, you know, and I'm logging in and out of the portal and SharePoint and yeah. all have synced 
four or five different SharePoints or OneDrives onto my Mac, how, which is going to be the best one for that. So that was massively invaluable to me. I think, that's, um, I think that's, that is a, that's a good point. You know, it's, it's an expensive purchase when you buy a laptop. But we yeah. all we all pretty much do it, and we all you know, the, the, and it's often like anything else. The more you spend, the better it, it is. Yeah. But but actually, you can be a bit smarter than that, and it's exactly as you say. You, you know, it's easy to pick, it's easy to pick one that looks nice, and we like the look of that one. That looks nice. Or you know, you go into somewhere. You know, you go into a big retail store. The problem is, are they selling you the right one for you, or are they selling the one they get commission on, or you know, exactly. whatever they've got loads yeah. in stock or whatever? And so, you know, as as you talked about, what we try to do is, um, and again, without boring people, hopefully, but you've kind of got you've got a processor, you've got memory, and you've got storage, and it's about well, okay, depending on what you're going to do, spend your money on the thing that you need that's going to make exactly. you do do your job better. So exactly. There's no point spending your money on. The obvious example is if you've got loads of cloud storage, don't go and spend an extra four hundred pounds on a laptop because it gives you two terabytes of storage because you don't need it. So mm -hmm. save that money or invest it in something that's going to, you know, as we talked about, you you, you invest it in more memory because actually that means you can run more mm -hmm. current yeah. uh, boxes. <laughs> and it is just it's just making sure yeah. Yeah. that you're spending the money on the right thing. Um, and you know we don't. I, you know, I know we talked about this. We don't really, we don't really make any money on them. Um, laptops. It's not about that. It's about making sure that the, our customers have got the, the right equipment for the job they want to do, and they're spending their money in the best way possible. So it's it's as much about just helping out and making sure that you get the best bang for your buck. Really, Definitely. you've got to know. You know, you've got to know what happens and what. Without going into loads of detail, which bits of the computer do what, so that okay, if you're going to be doing this over here, then what you need is a really you know, yeah. you need to spend your money on this bit of the computer. Don't and you explain that to me. It's like driving a car. So you want something that, that, and then so you've got your engine and you've got whatever. So you made it easy for me to understand without talking about gigabytes, big to gigabytes and processors and stuff, because I'm not interested in that. I just yeah. want to know this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. What do I have to buy to make it? And how yeah. much is that going to cost? Exactly. That was it. So, and we did that and I got that, which was great. Yeah. So obviously you're back again. I have, got a bit, I have got a bit of I have got a bit of computer envy now because yours is better than mine. But anyway, it is than yours. yeah. But then you will get another one and it'll be better than mine. <laughs> um, so um, so obviously you're back with us in June. So you're going to be with yeah. us on the Friday um, for hopefully an hour session. If you can do an hour session this time, um, we are the itinerary. Naomi and I went through the itinerary last week, so we'll be sharing that over the coming weeks with everybody. So uh, last time we spoke about specific things. So we spoke a little bit about, um, I think we spoke about, because Paul Pennant had come and done about Word and all of that kind of stuff. I think yeah. we spoke about Teams maybe and a little bit about OneDrive. So obviously the, the theme this year is, is Big Impact, which we know, um, we, as we've just discussed really, with me getting that laptop, I know that I can make the biggest impact on my time and to support my clients. So what are you going to be sharing with us this time for kind of look at helping us to make a big impact through what we can use and we can then pass on to our clients as well? Well, I mean, it is interesting. It is interesting because I'm not, I'm not sure that there is one new thing. I don't think there's anything new that's come along mm -hmm. that's like, well, this is, this is, this is it. And I, so I thought from a, you know what? Do, what does make the biggest impact? And I, and I think it's almost, in terms of the biggest impact, I think as we've talked about laptops and things, it's almost, if in terms of what I see as the biggest impact is having the right computer to do the right that does the right job. So I think maybe covering a little bit about that because you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it from me. It's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But so long as you understand them, and, and we won't talk too much about. <laughs> processor speeds and yeah, yeah. clock yeah, speeds yeah. and things. But but we will talk a little bit about here's um the typical things that as a VA you might do, the typical jobs. Here's what here's the kind of things that you need to look for in your computer. But then here's how, you know, if your work so a bit like if you think about like scenarios is probably what rather than yeah. talk about individual products is to talk about here's how um uh, a VA who is doing a, an IT or a tech refresh 
here's a kind of example of what they might focus on and what they might do. And so some examples of this is, you know, this is Jane, the VA. This is the typical client that she has. And as she's doing her tech refresh, this is this is what she's this is how she would get the biggest impact out of her out of her money spent. And if this is John the VA, then his his clients are slightly different. And so he has a different need. So in that scenario, here's what he would look for. So okay. I think rather than going through specific, here's this app and here's how you do it. I thought it might be quite nice to go as we're doing as we're doing a refresh. Here's the kind of things that here's how you'd build that up. And we will therefore cover things like computer and maybe a bit about the Wi-Fi, but computer, Wi-Fi, what good Wi-Fi looks like in, in your house and how, how to make the most of it. Um, but then, you know, how you use Teams and Teams has moved on and developed. It all is, you know, there's a new update every week, it feels like. Mm. So here's how you, you know, you might centralize, um, you know, as you do an IT review, you might centralize everything and simplify your world. Here's how you might use that new technology with teams to then um, connect with clients. Here's some of the challenges that you might have. So, you know, you might find that you have some of the challenges with teams um, with external clients. So, so why is that and what does that do? So yeah. a little bit of a, if you were doing an, a technology refresh, here's the building blocks that you might use. Here's the typical kind of apps that you might use. And here's what it's like when you're finished. And so it almost kind of step that step people through that. And, and maybe we could do a little bit of a, you know, you and I can do a little bit of prep beforehand and think about what some, you know, a couple of typical scenarios that we can kind of map out what that are slightly different depending on what people do. Yeah. And I might put that out to the attendees beforehand That's and great. say, you've That's got amazing. specific things. So what are you, what are you working on? What are you, what are your struggles with that? What would you like to know? And how would you like to be able to integrate what you're doing if you want to get more out of 365 apps because um, yeah. as you know I'm helping a couple of clients build some SharePoint sites yeah. so I, oh, I, I am getting there a little bit and I'm self-learning and doing bits and pieces but there are really core things around that that are really important about what if you have got somebody external that you know you need to yeah. be able to share that with how easy is that because we followed up the conference in 2019 doing some training with you guys over in, in your office in Warrington, which was great. And we covered loads of things about how to actually set up a SharePoint and, and how to get people involved that are from external and which still baffles me a little bit. But I think there are um, there's loads of things within that that we can that we can definitely build on. So I will put it out to the attendees and say, what do you yeah. want to know? Tell us because we can massively tailor it and we're going to do that exactly. in other sessions. And I think this time, six years on, a, a lot of people that have that are coming have been before. So they've, they've gained a lot of the new skills that we've been talking about yeah. over the last couple of years. So now let's really start tailoring the conference to what is it that you really want to know about. Yeah, um, yeah Pam's just saying, um, yeah, great idea. I, I think that's what I think that's what we'll definitely do. Um, I've got, um, uh, let me see if I can show this. Okay, so uh, Nikki's asked, uh, which I know we spoke about this a couple of, uh, a week or so ago about training around teams and things. Um, and I know that you use um, Shelly Fischl, um as well for, for some training. Um, Shelly, which I might actually see if Shelly could possibly join us next year at the conference. Because yep. Shelly does a lot of um, specifically around Teams training. But if anybody's heard any of um, Shelly's podcasts, I did a podcast with her, God, last year it, it must have been. Uh, well, it was last year. Um, but she's spoken to a lot of VAs. I think it's called, is it called Today's VA? podcast maybe i'll share it in the group and it's tomorrow's va tomorrow's, tomorrow's VA. VA. that's it that's it tomorrow's va today's yeah. va was yesterday i'm joking yeah Sorry. yeah i think <laughs> today's va i think is paul pennant anyway <laughs> so, <laughs> so um yeah i think um obviously that would massively help i think an introduction maybe to to shelly for nikki um i think there's a the, the, there's two i tend to think there's there's two layers almost because there's the there's the, I think Shelley does a brilliant job of that kind of the, the detail and explain how to use it, on the on a kind of ongoing basis. So we sourced a training platform. It's a proper learning management system. So it's yes, a training platform. Yeah. Um, 
And in that training platform is, is like every, every Microsoft product that they do. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, small kind of two, three, five minute videos. So a bit like YouTube, but it's kind of, you know, Microsoft authorized and it's curated. So for teams, there are about 200 videos on teams. So wow. whenever you want to know how to do this one thing, you go and watch, there might be one, two, three videos on that one thing. And it just means it's always, it's always there and always available for you. Right. So there's, there's two options, I think. There's one is the, I think Shelley will do a great job in terms of here's how it works, a bit more interactive, and you can learn about what you want to do specifically. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then there's a the potential, we, you know, we can help out with some um, ongoing, it's literally just a few quid a month for, right. a, for a license, and it gives you access to the whole platform and all the videos. So, again, that's, then that's always there if you need it. Oh, that's great! I wouldn't mind adding that onto my onto my license okay. actually, Mark, because that big. Because sometimes you do just, I do just think, um, God, I need to just know, like on SharePoint, doing these sites now. Oh, how do I do that? And how do I do yeah. that? And so it would be great. Loads of videos there. on Teams, on SharePoint, and Outlook, on everything, yeah, just everything. That's great. Yeah. that's great. That's great. Right, Fab. Um, I think um, everyone's. Um, Oh, someone said Dean helped me with the purchase of my new Mac laptop. Oh, brilliant. Wonder Dean. Um, Andrew's just gone with BT Business for a new um, um, Wi-Fi at her office. Um, yeah, but everyone's looking forward to seeing you at the conference. And Oh, someone said, please add to my license, but it says Facebook user, so I'm not yeah. sure who that is. So you might need to, um, you might need to tell us who you are. Okay, super. Well, um, I'll share this. I'll be sharing this video. Um, it's obviously on the Facebook group, but um, it's really good mobile connectivity. I need Pam needs better mobile connectivity. She is up in Yorkshire. So yeah, she could probably Oh, it's Nikki. Nikki, can you add that to her license for the videos? Um, uh, yeah, so I'll be this is obviously on the group. I'll be sharing it across emails as well um, and uploading it onto the YouTube channel. Um, and obviously, we I think it's only Naomi will tell us how many days it is because, like I say, her wedding's a day after. I think it's 36 days today, I think, until the conference on Thursday. Um, so we will obviously see you live, fingers crossed, yeah. on, uh, on the Friday the 25th. Uh, but obviously, Mark, if you want to come along on the Thursday as last time, um, yeah, as you know, you're more than welcome to spend a couple of days with us. So thank you very much. Um, if there's any other questions okay. that come up in the group, I'll send them over to you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, please, do. please do. See you in a couple of weeks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.